Merry hey Christmas. Everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great. This design, it's going to be a Christmas design, but it's a very cool one because it's pretty much the same technique that is balloon distortion, basic balloon distortion that you can do a lot of different figurines with this shape. Um, so now just put it um, in into uh, another thing, but for Christmas. So this is the thing. Do this it's gonna be a christmas tree and yeah but where's the silly christmas tree they are pointy or they have you know these different levels layers yes but at the end you can make different um what is a uh, character into what is for example because i don't have any other screen that will be in the future i will get you know a tablet i think something that maybe i can share with you while i'm talking to you at the same moment but um like look at this type of christmas tree this is another type of christmas tree okay so there is another type of christmas tree that is the one you're going to see there i found it it's from the kuwai universe and kuwai is very cute so a lot of things is the color if you make it yellow it's going to be probably a christmas bell but if you make it green with some stickers look you can use pocket of the stickers also, also, you can add little bubble machines, little uh, bubble machines, little bubbles that you pre-inflate. These ones are deflating, but you know the idea. And you can just glue dot it. That can be a choice. Or there's these stickers. You can find it on Amazon. And then you just add different colors of dots. I've been using this for many years. And what I do is kids love it. I just put it there on the table and it's like decorate your Christmas tree. So the kids love to do that. They take their time. Now you can have more fancy stickers, so there's a variety. But um, let's do this, and this is going to be also a way that we practice. And uh, some tips I forgot or, you know, I didn't share it on the last video from the Christmas bell, the Jingle Bell balloon tutorial. So I'm going to share it now uh, because this was really cool. When I was um, showing this same Christmas or Jingle Bell design to my community, my balloon community in a June session, what June? Cecilia, oh, it's big. <laughs> I know. I'm that happy when I'm super excited or when I'm too, too sleepy or when I'm too, too excited. I don't know what I'm saying because what I want to say is uh, I have more tips to share with you, you know, techniques to make much easier or better looking the distortion. So let's start it. No waste more time. My introduction is getting better, right? It used to be like five minutes, six getting better um so let's do this a lot of things of the designs i make i know i'm talking like i see like do the tutorial but a lot of things that i'm sharing with you they have a lot of other ways to make it and i love that um for example thomas mcnulty he made the leg lamp but he changed because thinking about hearts if you don't have a heart you can always make the basket weave right so it's a cool way to why not that was my third also intention, but then I was always was thinking in another way, because why not? So the thing is have fun and do the best ways works for you. Plus be flexible with what balloons you have available with you. And um, look, make it grab from this channel some things that it can help you, you like it, but no, you don't have to do it for the whole design if you don't want it, it's totally fine. You see, the fun about this, and I love about the balloon community, is when you are open to share whatever cross your mind, a design, an idea, people is willing to see, watch, and learn. Even that you've been making balloons for 20, 50 years, it's always beautiful to see someone making even the same thing. Because it happens, you know. I have uh, this uh, experience that I make this cool design, and it seems like 25 years ago, someone else made it. And, and so that was, you know, amazing because that means, you know, in some way we connect, you know, the ideas and so many infinite ideas that we connect one idea, it must be a really good idea. <laughs> so that was really cool. So if that happened to you and in, it happened, you know, a lot, don't feel bad, don't feel, oh, wait, someone is copying me or what? No, be, you know, like thankful. And, and that's, that's what it is. You know, it's everybody, you know, it's learning from each other and a lot of concepts, it's going to happen in, in, what is creativity is going to come to you but also the same problem is going to come to other people so that's totally fine right enjoy it have fun because that's the best part about i love about balloon twisting 
um now the design and i went to find many money oh, sorry i'm sorry okay but it's also cool you know this little concept this little um sharing you know it's it's, it's experience that also it can happen to you you can feel related if it's not it may be in the future you will remember hmm, yeah <laughs> okay let's do this because it's a fast easy so anyways okay just grab a balloon to 60 if we're gonna make a green tree because the christmas tree usually are green you can make it white or a colors try but green okay it's gonna be i think more easy for people to recognize so grab your balloon to 60 green and now you find it the half but give it a little bit more now i'm gonna use this side that means i'm gonna give it a little bit more it's gonna be easier so here i'm gonna cut i'm gonna cut with my color ring done so i have this part remember now i'm gonna bend it and i'm gonna introduce it into my quick link now if you don't have quick link it's not the end of the world but this design is much faster and easier you can make it in a party super fast using quick links okay because it's gonna last longer and glue dots are great you can always glue those things but if you can you know do it all twisting i think it's better for some times yeah it feels better you know but it's all up to you some balloon decor is you know for decor yeah glue dots but for twisting sometimes it's good you don't use the glue dot because kids will want to manipulate the balloons and glue dot is gonna tend maybe to take it out and then balloon pop or but with this technique not using glue dots you the kids can stretch and it's not really gonna pop that easily okay introduce your bending 260 inside a quick link and then you're gonna now blow your quick link pam, pa, pam, pa, pam, 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 pam. It's a quick link deco mix, so it looks much bigger, which I it's really cool. I like it. But any quick link is gonna work, okay? Now you just blow your 260 while you are there, so that means I'm closer. You see, I'm in there with the 260. The thing is, this is I was reviewing my own tutorial in order to show you better. So when you have it there in the 260, make sure you now you hold everything. And now let's blow. You see, I'm holding everything there and I start blowing. Now I feel two, two, two is touching this part. Perfect. The 260 is touching all the way to the top. So now you're going to grab your 260, leave the quick link. It's going to be losing air. It's okay. But while that, lose some air of the 260 and tighten. it. That's it. Why I'm losing some air of the 260? Because you want that not to be also too tight. It may pop. When you are here, if you did not lose that much air, like me, for example, you can start maybe playing with the idea of bending this. And finding instead of be like this or plain like skinny here you want this to be more pin horizontal the 260 is gonna do that effect so that's what I'm doing uh, with more air on the quick link it's gonna be easier but if it's not it's with practice you're gonna be able to do it the way I'm doing it to save time and while you're doing that accommodate your 260 into a roundish shape more roundish shape okay look Okay, so now this part goes in the center and the bottom, this part on the top and the bottom. Now you can lose the air while you accommodate this as circle as possible. Look, I say circle, but it looks like a triangle. It's okay. The most run is you can and it's fine. Nothing has to be totally perfect. The idea is also you kind of enjoy it and try and do your best. If you want perfectionist to take your time, that's fine. But it doesn't really matter for this design at least. It's going to be something fast. You grab this five inch round now and you're going to fold it it's easy for me this way but you decide put it inside we are pretty much repeating what i did for the bell and i put it inside as much as i can this way and then from the other side i just feel it you push a little bit and you will feel it so that well you're gonna pull it all the way in the center in this emptiness inside it's an emptiness space and when you are there now you can but I recommend you first a little bit of the quick link. You want to inflate a little bit, okay? Bam, that's it. Then you're going to blow that quick the five inch round. Now I'm going all the way to the five inch round and I'm going to blow it. Give it as much air as you can because you want this to be long, okay? So I'm going to consider it's that. 
that means the balloon is not really touching this part yet but i already kind of feel like you can count how many pumps you do or how much time air you are using in your electric pan to figure it out you want to round approximately this big inside okay now you pull you tie the five inch round and tie in the five inch round and you cut the excess cut it now you have here the quick link now you're gonna push this because you don't want the tree to be having this shape no you want it more plain that part not more straight so automatically it's gonna be pushing air well now if that's an air came out you are now are gonna see which hand is better for you but this is what i think i forgot to tell you about the bell when you put these two fingers inside the quick link you will feel you're gonna do this movement like it's a little bit of walking your fingers but each time you're doing that, some air can escape in between your fingers and going straight out from here. And when you're doing that, at the same time, this hand is going to be pushing like this and grabbing part of the 260. And look, even without, I can see that I can be using some air, which is cool. But this is going to be the moment to put it in practice, what I'm saying. Put it in there. Now, look. Pushing. You can go a little bit deeper if you want. So for balloon distortion, sometimes you may need uh, stronger fingers, but or you can just you know with practice. But it's very fun to play with balloon distortion. So. Now I'm doing this a couple of times just to lose the air as much as I can from here. Okay, so it's looking this way, which is not that bad. Okay, I can lose more air and that's what I'm about to do. So I'm going to go a little bit harder and sometimes I have to just not use my hand and use also my chest. And while I'm here, I'm blowing and opening this more. Well, pushing. See? So, this is the idea, but look, guys, don't feel frustrated with practice. Everything is going to be faster. Now, you can say, well, you see, I think that's enough. Okay. I feel that too. Look, things doesn't have to be perfect. You just try and do your best. And this is pretty much what is going to make the shape of the tree. And here we have connection, perfect in the center for that brown part that is going to be the tree, the, the trunk, the log, <laughs> el tronco del árbol. Okay, and here is going to be the star. Now, you want to be this fast because you already took your time doing this process. So let's do it fast. Uh, you want a 350 will be maybe too wide. I think I want a 260 will be perfect. Uh, many brown. So I found this balloon scrap, okay? It's a brown 260. I'm gonna blow it, I hope it doesn't have any hole. And look, you can, in order to make it more stable, a uh, long apple twist would be the best choice, I think. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna inflate this like approximately four or five finger long, okay? Tighten, and make sure the scrap, you also have some, the same kind of size as possible, because you're gonna make a long apple twist and grab it here, tighten, it, and then hide it. So let's do that. You can even, if you want, tie, make an, an, a tidying here to make things more stable and doesn't get unlocked. So you can just pull, make a little tiny if you want to make things easier. And then you're gonna do the marriage twist. Grab it, push and push. And that pressure that is pulling balloons, one to each other is gonna help this design. Now you grab it. You take your finger, so it's pretty much like a long apple twist. Looks like a poopy in a garden, <laughs> like poop on a garden. Or, but it's gonna be this time the tree. So you just them accommodate, and you holding this while you twist and 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 twist. You can grab a balloon scrap tight if you want security, but after twisting many times, then you can just now push it down, and things are gonna be locked there. They're gonna stay locked. And look how beautiful it's looking this design. It's gonna be like, huh, that is awesome. That is pretty interesting the way you are making this. 
you know, glue, best of all, okay? Now, when you do this, and if you want to make it for people to hold it, you can do this with the entire balloon to 16, leave some space, and the rest of the balloon without inflating, it can be the loop around. It is possible. I hope, you know, you can have this idea. And that's it. So you're really going to be using that to uh, balloon, entire balloon to 60 brown. Okay? There's a way. Now, when you have it here, you already can start looking. The part that is that 260 that you've been tying together, you can put it in the pack. That's going to be my pack. And in the front, is going to be that pack. So you can always kind of like make play with the angles to make things better. You see? So now you know which one is your front. That's going to be my front. And it's looking wonderful. Now, a start time. Um, you can use a balloon scrap. I love using my balloon scraps, and this design can be perfect for balloon scrap. You can make an entire star, take your time, but you can always do a representation and something I like. How? Oh, okay, let's make, for example, one finger bubble, pinch twist, another one finger bubble, pinch twist. You want to make another one finger bubble, pinch twist to make it look better if you want. But this is going to be the easiest, fastest way. And then make a little, like, for example, bigger pinch twist, like three finger bubble pinch twist. Yep, that's it. Now, that's it. I can see my star is going to be representing this way. You're going to grab, cut. But Cecilia, that is not a star because it's looking too runnish. Well, you are a balloon twister and you're playing with balloons, okay? And this is gonna be a fast way. So pull the nozzle of the green quickly, pass it around. You can tie it to secure things if you want. But pretty much this is a design or by interpretation. Now, you wanna make this a little bit more elaborated? Of course, why not grab a black or any color, red if you want, but make it a star, the way the stars goes on top. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna, uh, this is the first star I know how to do, but I don't know if it's another way, right? So you can color it, you can leave it like that. Um, so this is the idea. Now find again which one is the front and leave that where is the front. So my front is there. And look, I think now looking at my design, maybe three pinch twists, little one finger bubble, three pinch twists will be better. I don't know. But this is the design now. You can give it to kids, you can tell it, have fun and decorate it. Or you can just grab little bubbles and I have it here, my ones that are, are much newer. I have it in this bag. And then you can take a couple and glue to it if you want. Can be a choice, you know, imagine, you know, it's just polka dots, polka dots. Yes, but another thing about this way to make a, a cute a Christmas hat, is also to add the cute faces. Now look at those choices. Those are Cuba, kuwai, fast ways to make faces very cute. And you just choose your favorite. For example, I'm gonna choose mine. From all those, I'm gonna choose this one. Now you can just color, you know, the spaces like this. Uh, man. Usually I'm showing you what I'm doing, but you can all have the idea. And then with white, shaky, shaky, make it color inside. Now you can always with pink, do some cheeks. And look at that. That is your white Christmas hat. Even just doing this, it's already a hat. Um, my star is not that cute. So if you think, oh, Cecilia, that is star, I don't think I'm going to be even that good to do that. Ta -da -da -da, from the Dollar Tree or from any store, you can always get a star, um, these things. Look, you can uh, have the stickers. These ones are from last year. So what about you put a snowflake? or a pink ribbon. It doesn't have to be a star. It can be a big snowflake. If you have a star, it's good for you. But stickers always are a saver. And it's the last touch, you know? So I'm gonna actually put one of my ribbons on top here. So then I can kind of like, 
Ah, make this better. <laughs> now, what else from here? Well, let's do that polka dots so you can see. And again, you give it, leave it on your table. Kids love to do these things. You can make it with these little polka dots. You can make more bigger polka dots. I think mine are kind of a small. Or you can just do it with Sharpies. Just circles, circles, and a couple somewhere there, somewhere the other side. And pretty much this is the idea. Play with different colors. Um, usually I don't do this when I'm at parties because even parents help, you know. They love to do this kind of like crafty moment with their kids. And I think it's going to be a fun way and you're going to uh, save time because you don't have to do this part when you are at events. Uh, I've been doing it and kids love it. Kids love to do this part. Uh, if they are too little, they're usually out with parents around. So they, um, and look again, pay attention on the front, you know, the picture time. It's that's the, the place that I focus more. Yeah. And that's what I do. I'm gonna just put a couple more. Oh man, I'm just trying to do as fast. But again, this is gonna take time. So let, let, let the kids do this, okay? Because it's gonna take us time. I'm already losing some places, but it's the idea. I think also, um, this is one, but again, with bigger stickers, the better, don't you think? Look. <laughs> It's adorable. I hope you like it. I just wanted to share also kind of like that way to make with the same technique another thing and it can work. Uh, it, people is going to like it. Trust me. I already have a really nice feedback from uh, my balloon uh, friends online. Uh, I already teach, you know, the bell. For, and the thing is, if they like the bell, I'm sure there's gonna, they're going to love this part. They're going to love it. This, it's just I haven't shown them, but <laughs> I hope you like it. Again, put more stickers, have fun, take your time, do it better. And don't forget, tag me on my Instagram or on my Facebook as Alpaca Global. Um, so I can see how you did it, okay? Uh, another good thing about this, um, it's that um, I have a lot of potential. With the same technique, pretty much, we're going to be able to make another cool thing that I will share pretty soon. So have fun. Um, what else I wanted to tell about? Oh, don't forget, check out on the description of all my videos, you will find ideas how to collaborate with this channel because thanks to your support, this channel can be much better. Totally motivates me. If you um, are able to send balloons, thank you so much. You can always donate money to my Venmo or PayPal account. It totally is gonna help me because what I love is to make balloons and another dream or, you know, awesome things that, a balloon twister will enjoy a lot is be able to be at balloon conventions but it's not that easy because you need money you need money for you know fly tickets for your food for your hotel room and all those things that i cannot really afford i wish i could be in all the balloon conventions but i can't so if you can collaborate it totally is gonna help me at least to enjoy you know that i'm doing this for you know many people around the world makes me happy so I hope you also are enjoying this. Have a wonderful day and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.